Hey everybody, Rich Nono here, Florida Licensed Realtor, Florida Licensed Home Inspector in Nono Republic. I hope that rain doesn't get on the camera lens, but it might. Not a big deal. It's not too bad, it's just a light drizzle. We're gonna go into this house called the Tortola. This is another, another great house from Taylor Morrison. Let's go inside and check it out. Get myself out of the viewer so you can actually see the house and not me. I don't think anybody wants to see me, they wanna see the homes. So yeah, great looking house. Another one of these big, hugeish homes. You got a three car garage, as you could see. I'm excited because I haven't seen one of these in a, in a while. And I think the last time I saw one of these was in either a Popco or maybe Claremont. So pretty nice. Uh, five beds, four and a half baths, 3,461 square feet. And of course a three car garage. Let's go inside and have a look. Tortola, huge, huge house. Let's go see what we see. Huge door in front too. sign says that it's no longer available with this double front door so when you first walk in you can see just how huge this is it just feels really spacious I mean you can see it's so spacious that they put like a, a little more like a three-seater or two-seater over there and I'm standing off in the corner All right, so there's a few ways to go. I'm gonna to continue to the left. Here's your laundry room. And one of the things that builders tend to do as well is they put these extra huge washer dryer combinations or whatever these things are in the larger laundry rooms. So let's check out the garage. As you can see there's just a a lot of space, my foot test just doesn't even apply. A lot of space on this side. And you can see this space over there as well. So this is the one car garage. This thing, whatever this is, that's how large this section is. What we have here half bathroom, and a very large bedroom, although it's not set up like a bedroom. You can see. The shower, and the toilet, and the sink. I like this. I like how it looks, like the color combination. And here's a closet, probably a pretty decent one. Yeah, decent enough for this. It takes up the wall space. And extremely high ceilings. I mean, I can't even touch these, whatever they are. I mean a 10 foot or something like that. All right, you got storage underneath the stairs. I'm not gonna go all the way in here, but you get the idea it goes around. Tortola model from Taylor Morrison. I was just looking at all the cabinets going around. Look at that. Wonderful. 
what do we have here? The garage. The one car. What's this? HVAC. Let's take a look at the pantry. This island is huge. You could see just how large it is based on how these these plates and cups are spaced. So you could easily put six people around this. And the covered patio is just a large one as well. So you can see where it stops and it goes around a bit. And you know, again, when, when home builders put out a sink and a grill outside, you know it's a large covered lanai. It's nothing small. And a master bedroom on the first floor. Now always keep in mind that pools do not come with homes unless it's usually at a resort property that's zoned for short term rental. Usually those homes come with pools, but usually the residential communities do not. So just always keep that in mind. I know sometimes people think it's going to come with a pool. It usually doesn't. Wow, look at this bathroom. <laughs> That's really great. I wasn't quite expecting this, even though I have seen this, but I haven't seen this model in a couple of years. Oh, the shower goes back and goes in. Check that out. <laughs> Look at that. It's unbelievable, this closet. It's just simply unbelievable. There's just so much space. Let me see. I got my arms are not quite extended. Well, yeah. So my arms are extended, which means it's about six foot plus a knob, say it's about seven feet wide. So that's how wide the um, closet is. Just huge closet. Oh, I'll turn this around. You can see there's just a lot of floor space. The toilet in the closet room just looks so left out. Like, it's just like, <laughs> like nobody really thought about it. Maybe, you know, do something nice. Spruce up that toilet in the closet, because this is fantastic. And then the shot of this amazing master. And the, the, um, the floors are really fantastic too in this, in this house. And I like this color pink too. It's like a greenish or like a, I don't know, an aqua-ish. I'm not sure what it is. All right, let's go upstairs. 
Let's go upstairs and see what we see. I'm sure it's as wonderful as the first floor. All right, I'm gonna continue this way. So we have another master up here. Just a ton of floor space. Bed looks like a queen to me. I'm becoming an expert, I think. Or maybe not. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's fantastic. And you can see you got a full bathroom. And you know, some people will say that a master master bedroom needs two sinks, but in all reality, there are homes where the master bedroom only has one sink. Of course, then sometimes something like that will be called an end suite. But you know what? It, it, it's, it's really just a name. There's crazy names for everything in this business. I see Super Mario, Super Mario 64. That was a fun game. That's a big Lego, that's cool. Now I wonder if you step on that barefoot, how it would feel, because I always, I always think of Legos walking on them as a kid and just killing my feet. <laughs> that doesn't look too comfortable either. Full, full bathroom. That's kind of interesting. It's a pool. Look at that. Must be a walk-in closet. Yeah, it is, it's a walk-in closet. HVAC closet. And, oh boy, look at this. This is fantastic. Got a sink. Boy, it's cold in here. The AC is really cranking. All right, so who is this awesome house for? Well, this room is definitely for me because this is just an ideal. This is just an ideal home theater room. It's it's more of a rectangle going this way, so it's more along this way. Um, but if I was going to set this up, just briefly. If this wasn't here, then the TV would go right here. I have the TV here. One, two, three, four, five speakers over there. Um, then there would be one speaker here. I'm gonna get a little busy, hopefully not. One speaker here. Over here would be some kind of a, a couch thing for me. And then the other speakers would be up high in the back. And that would be my home theater setup for this room because it is awesome. Goodbye, home theater room of my dreams. It is, it's beautiful. So, on a more serious note, who is this for? Well, the first floor of this house definitely, I feel like it definitely steals the show. The second floor is excellent, but you know, again, like with any house where it has this type of like open to the second floor look going for it, you know, you definitely lose some space. Whereas if, if this was more like this way and, you know, you know, it was like a normal second floor, 
you would have all this extra um, area up here. But it's not, but that's what makes this special. And this is, you know, it's really a luxury home. It's a beautiful house. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. It checks off all my boxes. It has a three car garage. Not that everybody needs that, but it's good to have. And, you know, it has the master bedroom and the full bathroom on the first floor down here. Along with that, along with the amazing, along with this amazing master bedroom, you have, trying to kill myself, or, I, or should I say the camera, um, you've got this great kitchen, so, you know, it really does check off all the boxes. And this, this is another one of those homes where, um, you know, if you're thinking about aging with your house, I think that this is a great choice because the first floor is just so complete. Plus you do have a three car garage as well. And of course it's amazing for, you know, families, you know, you figure in this house, uh, if two people were sleeping downstairs, plus upstairs, I mean, you could probably, you know, eight to 10 people in this house. Of course, some of them being, you know, children as well, but I think that this house has, uh, you know, fantastic, um, layout should I say the layout is, is is fantastic thank you everyone for watching I do appreciate you thank you to my current past and thank you to my future customers I haven't met you yet but maybe I will soon have a good day Prior to being a realtor, I purchased a house without a realtor and then with a realtor who had no construction training, no construction certification. And I can tell you that it's extremely important to have a realtor with construction certification. Here's how to get my service paid for by the builder free to you. Please contact me first before you contact any home builder. When you contact the home builder first, you may lose your paid for by the builder realtor representation. If you email them, call them, text them, go to the sales office, walk the models, anything that they can match up at the time of contract, they may say you cannot use a realtor. Please don't contact the builder and ask what their policies are either because that would be your first contact. You see how this works? When I went to purchase my first house, I was given terrible advice. Everybody told me I had to pay for a realtor, which is just not true. I had no realtor and it was terrible. From start to finish, it was exhausting. I was treated poorly at sales offices and after I signed my contract, the salesperson basically vanished on me. It was just a terrible experience. When I purchased my second house, House, I knew I needed a realtor, so I started searching. I encountered top sellers who seemed impressive, but they were just high pressure sales. They were telling me to go to the builder, tell them I'm your realtor. When you pick out the house you want, contact me and I'll come down and help you. They would show me two homes, three homes, ask me which one do I want to buy. Many of them couldn't even respond properly to an email, which is much like when I help my buyers to find resale homes. Many of the realtors that are selling these homes, it's like they don't even read what you wrote. So my my realtor ended up being a new realtor. He was loyal. He went with me to like 20 builders that I picked out. He wasn't selling me out to sales associates. He wasn't selling me out to other realtors. He wasn't selling me out to resale home sellers. He was no doubt on my side. So like most realtors, the realtor that I picked had no construction training, no certification. At the time, I didn't even consider it. As we went from house to house with new construction, with resales, there were times I had questions and he didn't know, or he was kind of guessing, and he would at least tell me he's just guessing. The information that I received was incorrect. I realized that home inspectors are there to look over a house and find issues with them. But let's face it, the home inspector is with you for two hours, three hours, looking at the house that you're interested in buying. Your realtor is with you, if the realtor's a good realtor, for potentially six months, 12 months, while new construction house is being built. Your realtor's gonna be the one that's gonna be there with you when you're dealing with rude, obnoxious construction managers that are lying to you when the home is built incorrectly and they just want you to just go away. They want you to just sign, say the house is okay, or it's gonna be passed off the warranty, and that's it. So having a realtor without construction background is not a good idea. And if I was gonna be buying a house in another state, even though I have a home inspector's license and I am trained, I would still wanna find a realtor 
that is construction trained because the more eyes the better everybody's going to spot something different i would even potentially hire two inspection companies or maybe more to look over a house just some quick tips just want you to understand that i believe in a comprehensive realtor service where i could answer and guide and look at home inspection reports and have an understanding of what's going on and how to help my buyers best thanks for watching this back to the video mm -hmm.